Jeff Thomas back to receive this kick. In the air and underway for the third all-time meeting between the Hurricanes and the Panthers. And it is the dynamic Thomas with a strong return, cutting it a crushing total touchdown. He set a Miami program record with 31 combined last year. And he starts here with a handoff and a good physical effect of running the ball last week at Toledo. Homer got 16 carries. DJ Dallas 17. Here is Thomas slipping 11 yards, which dramatically cuts into his FBS best yards per catch number of nearly 28. To the box here. That's going to open up the play action. This is a fake for Rozier who will keep it. And he, Miami. Hurricanes were outstanding on third downs last week. And Rozier will hook up with his tight end. It's like Rozier going to quarterback sneak this baby. Rozier gets a push oh, from behind. Oh, no. He was I stood don't up. I think so. From Bowling Green, but he graduated early. So he has another year of eligibility remaining after this. Morgan with nowhere to go. Swarm the player. Miami leads the nation in tackles for loss. They get one in the first play. And if only one down lineman for Miami here. Morgan pressured anyway. Tries to elude the grasp of Garvin. And punt and play defense. Punter is Stone Wilson, a four-year starter. In the air to Jeff Thomas. And returnable from his 22. Thomas gets a block and another big one. Thomas is to midfield. Jeff Thomas with a juke. Thomas appears to be home free. One defender from behind. A miss on a diving tackle. Best player in the program. Receiving team. This is DJ Dallas with his first touch. Over 100 yards against him. Averaging about, you know, three and a half yards a carry. It's, it's hey, let's go for it. But now you missed on one. Gonna be a little gun shy and punt it away here. A kick away from Zach Fiegels, son of five, in meetings yesterday with the Miami coaching staff. Sean Darius Phillips for FIU on first down with a flag thrown. Dan Gautreau, our referee today. Morgan with play action on first down. Running for his life and nearly. Our defensive lineman saying hello to him. A Florida transfer took a leave of absence from football last year. Now one of the dominant linemen in the entire country. Morgan with a short one here on third and long. Need the 42. But uh, right now, Miami's defensive line owning the line of scrimmage. T.J. Dallas gives Jeff Thomas a breather. And fair catch. Quarterback, he had five touchdowns. But here is Nicosi Perry getting the third series for Miami at home. Back, or number three, beg your pardon, in the ESPN rankings two years ago coming out of high school. And Perry will try to show off the... Has a third and six staring him down. Hurricanes are 0 for 2 today. Perry will take off. And their tart sent to the sideline. Might be because he had exposed knees, which is a new part of the uniform code. We need him back in the ball game. Quick tempo once again. This is Jordan. Seen him since he walked off a little slowly after the punt return. Perry gives it to Dallas. Tough slowly after the punt return, which was a 78-yard touchdown negated due to a holding penalty. Running room for D.J. Dallas. To He's on the bench as Homer returns at running back and takes the ball, bursting through the initial. Four carries each for Homer and Dallas so far. Travis with a fifth. Good move there. Homer created space. Now across the 10. Into the end zone. Touchdown Miami. Sit on the ground. And the first drive for Nicosi Perry. Nine plays. Seven of them were rushes. The season. So the touchdown drive led by Nicosi Perry. He threw it just twice. Ran it once. Change a quarterback for FIU as well. Third drive for both teams with a new player. Alexander's for two. He went outside and Almost had it picked off. Devontae Price, the running back, on second down. Here comes the pressure. Alexander. 12 passing, negative 12 rushing so far. Fair catch made. And then hopefully renew the rivalry after that. Quarterback still Nikozi Perry for a second straight drive. And he hits Brevin Jordan again. 
All three of 34 yards on that play. Perry throws another quick one. This catch made by Mike Harley, the sophomore. Back in the ground game, Dallas plowing forward. Six defenders in the box. It's a hard lesson to learn. Dallas had to go perimeter, and DJ seemed to not the championship team at halftime today. And Howard Schnellenberger is scheduled to lead them through the tunnel and the smoke. Nicozy Perry completes his first pass of the quarter. It's a touchdown. Got seven touchdowns on 32 career catches, and three on eight catches. Napoleon Maxwell is deep. The kick from Bubba Baxa. It's early. It's very early. Christian Alexander still the quarterback for FIU, which on both sides of the football. It was actually a loss of one. Alexander with a quick throw here. Alexander's got to hurry to get the staff off. And he did just in time. He'll take a shot here. Wharton had a step up to the task as of yet. Stone Wilson. Wow, did he hit one. Nesta Silvera came in and missed Wilson, apparently. No flag. That is that. And Miami may have a new quarterback. Nicozy Perry for a third straight series. Mike Harley with his second catch. And third straight series for Perry after Malik Rozier got the first two. On the ground, Travis Homer pushing the pile. Not at all. Sacks, turnovers? At some point, you're going to have one. Rose, your third and long hit. Ball has come free. It is loose. And FIU, if they any return here, it's going to give them some pretty good field position. Fiegels gets it away. Fair catch called for it. Down the field and just protect and take the shot. Keep trying to get that run game. Trolled right now. FIU's only first down is via penalty. Morgan with a little bit of time takes a shot for Wharton, and it is first Miami game. And the Hurricanes have it. Still Perry at quarterback. Nicozy Perry keeps. DJ Dallas hit him before he can't play football. Still around the team, though, and an absolute inspiration to the Canes. Harley with a great catch off a bubble. Mike Harley's going to have a first. Now St. Thomas Aquinas. First and ten. Perry on play action. Another short one. Because he knew the playbook, no one, though, has ever doubted the physical gifts that Perry has compared to others. A swing to DJ Dallas here. Perry is nine for nine throwing the ball. Perry will take off here. Run for the first down. Maybe a lot more. To mid a fearful way to play defense. Travis Homer. By the way, Miami is doing all of this. Second down handoff. Makes you dangerous on offense. 5.7 yards per carry. And a gift to the fullback. Trayon. Two drives, two touchdowns for Nicozy Perry. And this one to drive him. Five plus minutes so far. Perry will sling it into double coverage. 14 yards, another grab for Harley. Keep it on the ground with Travis Homer. So from last week, when it was Dallas with a 100 yard game and one more carry. This is Homer one more time. In the middle of the field open again. Perry already ran it for a first down and a third down play this drive. Here he fires on the run and it's it. Was one for two against LSU. And backs it here. Will slide and five yards. 270 to five. The yardage right now. Policing. Won't take it. They're going to try to keep running the ball. I understand that, Andre. Run that you can draw up and try to block. Back on the ground. And some positive yardage nice. this time. Ten times by now if I'm in the game. Maurice Alexander's in the slot. Morgan will keep it. I'm in hang time. FIU punter. DJ Dallas at his own 32 to played so far. Well, this set says run it. Perry says throw nice. it. And throw it he does to Harley again. Across the 30-yard line. Out of bounds of the meeting this offense. 
42 yards. Harley on his sixth catch for 78. Perry with a couple of pump fakes. Lost his helmet. On the back end. Cover zero. Perry's going to run it toward the middle and take it. Perry looking that way. Floats it for Jordan. Out of his true freshman year. Jordan was the number one tight end in the... You can't control the line of scrimmage. Perry is fill on on the return. Morgan at quarterback. Maxwell the back. It is yet another handoff. It's a gain of three. Job done to the tune of three touchdown passes. Perry took over after two drives for Malik Rozier. Might as well get used to seeing around these parts. FIU in the first half had seven plays. Spot sitting wide open. Just widen him out and get him going up the field. Maurice Alexander in the slot. FIU. FIU did not convert a third down in the first half. Morgan's an obvious passing situation. That's a tough way to go about trying to move the football. DJ Dallas at his own 30-yard line. Jeff Tom Drew Locke in Missouri went down to Georgia earlier today. Perry. Only one in comes here in the second half. Perry to Davis. Cameron Davis slips a tackle. What did he do there? Delivered on third down. Perry pulls it down. Showing that dual threat ability. To stay on his feet here. Takes a whole host of... Butch, Butch Davis happy. That one. Cliff hold a safety. And he's going to have somebody to his right come wide open. Perry goes under... Zach Fiegels. Oh, boy. Of September 6th, a couple of weeks ago, we are visiting a friend in make full recoveries and to play football again. But it has been certainly on the... understand foolishness like that. Never. Third and long FIU. Still hasn't converted a first down in the game. James Morgan is... A double move in the ball, and, and you have to express that to your quarterback as well. The ball has to come out. That was the year after Butch Davis was the head coach. Now at FIU. Travis Homer. Boy, has he had... Week it was DJ Dallas, the bell cow in the run game this week. Homer. One more time. He has that burst once he sees the... Third straight for Homer. A couple of good cuts early. Homer finds the open space. The true freshman Lorenzo Lingard is the running back now for his first carry. And you have more than 178 yards more than the other team as the defense has done their part. Cager back. Continuing his ridiculous efficiency. Perry has three. Now, today, today, no doubt about it. Three touchdowns in the game. 15 of 18. And He's run the ball as well. Team, yeah, but you work for the Steelers. Texans now. You're in the same conference. We're going to scrub They're this. From, too. We're going to scrub this from the tape on the rear. You're hanging on his shoulder. Here's a first down for some rhythm here. Late in the third quarter. Morgan, that is not going to help with the let routes play out down the field. Morgan in the handoff. Devontae Price. Place to go with the football. Morgan looking that way. Has a one on one matchup. And it's incomplete. Had a bit of a step on the excellent cover corner Michael Jackson, whose name we have really not called much the last couple of weeks because teams that challenge receivers and then speed to run and recover. Perry. And could. Who knows? Play entrenched. Yeah. His feet in the shoes, so to speak. Seems we know the answer. It's a matter of when we may get it for the future. Perry on third and nine. Love and it. The red shirt freshman from here in Florida. It sounds familiar. It sure does. There's a team in Crimson that knows something about that. Last week against Toledo. 
Perry. Oh, wow. Spinning away. Down the field he goes. Couple of receivers in air, and that ball's intercepted. You know, where you're gaining ground up the field, and I just raise up and give it. Loss of five to Tony Gator. Now a route to develop long enough. Morgan has no time here, but found space over the middle to Gator, and a first down. Getting to show off the skills that they saw at Bowling Green, the graduate transfer. A&M right now. What was that, 38-13? Yep. You know, Penn State, Illinois was it too. They may have been thinking about the next Buckeyes. Yep. Prime time next Saturday night. Oh, well, punter. And so do I. He, he is the one bright spot in this football game for FIU. This one inside the five into the touchdown run. Cozy Perry, probably the big story of this game. And he sets up the screenplay to DJ Dallas. The converted wide the situation, and, and I'm sure he will handle it well. Cameron Davis. The recruiting classes under Mark Richt have been excellent. Davis again. Players. We're seeing a lot of freshmen in the second half. And there goes Davis running the route. At the top or not, but that's exactly where I'd be going with it. That's the evidence Najoku, but it'll go to Lingard on the ground. And Lorenzo Lingard wow. breaks. like to see. What would you like to see? We'll get this play running, I'll tell you. Build the suspense, Perry. But it's a totally different team now than what LSU faced in week one. And by that, I... Third and five, Lingard slips a tackler, runs for a first down. Lorenzo... You kind of have to ask yourself. Hey, that Old Dominion team lost to FIU a couple of weeks ago. And right now, up, so inviting. Perry, he's thinking what you're thinking. Cager! On one, but we'll see. I think we'll agree on more than one. A little trick play up 31-0. Flip it back to the freshman, Mark Pope. And Pope is... Times in the fourth quarter. Arkansas and Texas A&M of that year. Gonna go for it on fourth and goal. Perry, rush coming from behind. He you see what Tua is able to do, but... And equally as impressed with I don't think so my friend there's just too much talent having seen it up close the offense that they have some of the limitations they have even in a good start here's maybe a... Mississippi State here's a big play to CJ Wharton before that play they get more than half of it in one play to Wharton now Morgan looks deep Takes a shot into double coverage. Why not? Basically every key skill position player on their offense. Good run here. And of course, the NCAA has a new rule this year. You can play in four games, any four, and maintain your red shirts. And you know all these young kids want a shot at the turnover chain. Morgan, nobody decided to guard C.J. And throw you off balance. Some coaches that just play good fundamental football and he considers Butch Davis his yeah. team's teacher at Cole Elementary back in Broomfield, Colorado. Well, he would teach the phys ed class. The super dog yeah, pick. Yeah, the super dog pick. This would be the super dog of the year. New quarterback for Miami. It is Cade Wetter than it was then. Weldon on a third down. Sticks it in the gut of Davis. And Cameron. Yeah, maybe they win. Okay. That that that's how I'm that's how I'm getting myself out of trouble. I consider you the foremost Kentucky expert. <laughs> the freshmen and the sophomores they have on this team. Super talented recruits all the way around. Weldon trouble with his. And I'm talking about oh, okay. Muhammad Ali. So you've got that one higher? You have the Boise thrown five. I have an opinion on this. The rare turnover accessory that could be found in high-end hotel rooms. Morgan, incomplete because of, of all, play. Of all of them out there, it's the latest. That's why it's almost the best. Morgan hit as he throws. Over through my mother's house. It's the thought that's gone Let's into it. call it the old chair. Field. 
That's a pretty good onside kick off the hands of Cager. It's loose at the turf. And kicking specialist could be in the NFL. Borregalos with a beautiful onside kick. And now Morgan in the offense. Not caught a pass in this game. Morgan on second and ten. Wharton in double coverage. That looked a little bit like a touchdown Wharton caught in the SEC championship game three years ago. Butch asked CJ what his job was. He had a construction job. He said, you're quitting that today. I'm putting you on scholarship. Morgan keeps it. Morgan. Whole lot of players in the end zone, and he's 17 in a row. If this one goes through for FIU. From Borregales, school of Miami, redshirt sophomore. Goes the other way this time. Jordan at tight end, and at the defensive line, could go into every game. FIU has a couple of timeouts left. Lingard, the last to touch it. 